Hello again, Gordon Cooper here from Mega International, the customer success manager for Mega North America. So part three of the series of integrated risk management, today we're dealing with privacy. So the first thing that would come to mind is what does privacy have to do with integrated risk management? Well, it represents regulatory risk. Now, what do we mean by regulatory risk? Some common phrases that you'll all recognize, GDPR, CCPA, and HIPAA. So those being the regulatory bodies that introduce this whole area of risk, what we need to do is be able to understand how privacy factors in and how contextualization helps you manage these risks associated with privacy. So first, what we need to understand are what the data concepts are. We need to know how data flows through your organization. We need to understand where data is stored. And we also need to understand who consumes this data and how they consume it. So introduce a, a platform like Hopex, and what we'll do is we'll use these following terms, which I think you'll all recognize as being enterprise architecture, and we'll be able to understand how these bring contextualization to these concepts. First, you'll use a data dictionary because you'll understand what these concepts actually are. You'll use HOPEX to build your data architectures so that you can actually see the concepts as they flow through your environment. You'll use application architecture to understand how applications exchange these data points. You'll see how technology architecture helps you understand all the way down to the physical layer of where this information is stored. And then you'll use business architecture to understand who is consuming it and how. So an example of this might be, I am going to show uh, a process for customer management. And that process includes how data is brought into the system. So first we outline what the concepts are. These are stored in your data dictionary. We then say, what is the structure of the data that's being moved, which represents your data architecture. We show from application to application that supports this process. This is part of your application architecture. And then we show the systems that are supporting this through technology architecture, encryption levels and that type of thing. Then we can also see who these people are and how they're using it by introducing concepts from business architecture like value streams, capability mapping, and all of these other things. So in short, privacy is representative of regulatory risk. Managed by HOPEX, you get contextualization of how data works in your company. So thank you very much. Feel free to reach out to me at gcooper at mega.com and please watch the other videos in the series. Thank you.